to be honest with you, I'm, 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 I never really liked the limelight, uh, even as a player. You know, I was never one that wanted to be at the forefront mm. of, of, of newspaper articles and do uh, a lot of stories. I'd rather just get on with, with, with what I did. So um, it was the fear of uh, being exposed in the press, um, you know, for all, for all to read. Um, I like, you know, I am a private person really, so, you know, there was, there was them reasons really, and, and I never, I didn't really know where to go to, if I'm honest as well, you know, when I think about the times when I've been at my lowest ebb, I've never really thought, where, where do you go to? I mean, I, I did seek help professionally uh, through counselling um, for, for, for both the drug addiction that I've mentioned, and 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 also for the for the abuse, but in terms of bringing the story into the uh, in, into the nation, I just didn't know where I would go and how I would go about and do it. If I'm honest, it's difficult to ask. But for those who don't know, can I just ask you again? Just tell us what happened back then. Um, well, I played uh, for a Sunday league uh, team. Um, and the manager used to pick us up in his car because my parents didn't have a car so you know to get to games he would pick us up he um he would ask if anyone wanted to steer the steering wheel in in them days um you would sit across the gear stick and he would then start touching you and i guess depending on your reaction was you know it was his way of who he was going to target it then he would manipulate his way into your home uh, by befriending your, your, your family uh, while secretly starting to abuse you more and more uh, and then threatening uh, you with, with, with certainly in, in my case, he was threatening that he'd kill my parents and my two brothers if I ever spoke out about this. I did try to tell my parents in my own way because I was a happy-go-lucky uh, child, uh, and they've said this themselves. Um, and then I just went withdrawn and didn't speak for almost a year. And I guess uh, that was my way of trying to say something's not right here. But, you know, it was such a taboo subject in, you know, 40 odd years ago. And, and in some cases that I've read, um, the child, uh, was often blamed for it and not the abuser you know when it's happened within a family unit then you know I've seen that parents have stood by the whoever uh, brothers cousins and the child has been um, been the one that's been led to you know the blame on if you will he picked me up from school and take me to his, his, his house um, any which way he could manipulate the situation. Now, for legal reasons, you can't name that man. But it wasn't Barry Bennell. It was not him. There no, was... it, was, it wasn't Barry Bennell, no. Did he ever refer to Bennell? Your... Yes, many times. Almost, almost trying to justify uh, that it was OK to be done because he was doing it. Looking back now, what does that make you think about the possibility that there was some kind of network um, or could ob ob yeah obviously I cannot name names that, that have been branded about because of legal reasons mm -hmm. um, but I know of, of two other people that were were within the game that were doing doing the same thing to kids um, along with Barry Benall and, and the man that I can't name that did it to me so I can't believe that they weren't, you know, somehow associated. I can't 100% guarantee that, but if I was a betting man, I would, I would believe that they, they were all in cahoots. You think they shared information? They collaborated? I, I, I would have thought so, yeah.